This video is sponsored by Filestack. Building reliable software that can handle file uploads is difficult. That is why Filestack's goal is to provide a safe and secure system that will allow users to manage their files fast and with no errors. Filestack can help you provide amazing experiences to your users through various carefully crafted and easy to implement UI integrations that are specifically built to ensure maximum reliability, performance and security, and they currently handle billions of files every single month. Getting started is fast, free and easy. Easy. All you have to do is sign up from the link in the description and configure your applications to support Filestack uploads using your unique API keys. Thank you for Filestack for supporting this channel and go check them out in the link in the description below. People really underestimate the power of systems. It seems like this abstract thing, like what does it even mean to have a productivity system? Broadly, what we need is a way to organize our to-dos, to organize our information and our ideas. And that's really what all of this is about. Firstly, you need a way to keep track of your deadlines. So all the tasks that you need to do and when you need to do them. Having a lot of deadlines can create a lot of stress. For me at least, what creates even more stress is not really knowing which deadlines I have and when I have them and not being able to keep track of all of this in my mind. Our minds are really good at doing things, but our minds are not very good at remembering. So in the case of a computer, you can think of our brain as like the CPU, the one that processes all of your steps. But a lot of people try to also use our brain as the storage and even as a computer you want to have a separate SSD on a separate hard drive to keep all the information that you need to remember. I hope I'm making sense here. So that's why to keep track of your to-dos you first of all need a to-do app or I mean you can use pen and paper you can use whatever you want but somewhere where you can just write down all the things that you need to do and when you need to do them so that you don't have to worry about what you have to remember secondly you need to keep all your information organized in the modern age this is really all just about your files on your computer if you still have a lot of physical documents then this will apply for that as well but definitely if you're the guy if you're the person who just has a giant documents folder on your desktop yeah yeah we need to talk oh and we will don't go anywhere. Thirdly, you need to organize all your ideas. So for example, in the case of coding, whenever you get project ideas or things you wanna learn, things you wanna build, you wanna have a place to write all those things down. Anytime you learn something interesting, you wanna be able to make a note of it because otherwise you're just gonna forget everything and then all the learning you do is really gonna be useless. And for me, this ranges from video scripts to video ideas to things I wanna build while using coding. So I write all of these things down. Okay, so now that we've established the three key problems that we need to solve as busy people. Let me show you how I go about solving them. Broadly, you need four things. A note-taking system, a to-do app, a calendar, and a file storage system. I wanna emphasize that this is not about the specific apps or things I use. Find the one that works for you, that solves these problems for you, and that's completely fine. Don't feel the need to use whatever I use just because I use it, but hopefully you can still get some value out of the way I use the things and why I use the things that I do. So let's talk about them. For note taking, I just use Apple Notes. And I'm not using Apple Notes because I think it's the best ever. Like there are a lot more note taking apps which have a lot more features and a lot more things that you can do with them. But the reason I use Apple Notes and a big theme around the apps and systems I use in general, as you'll see, is that it's very easy. Because I mean the Apple ecosystem, accessing Apple Notes is extremely easy. It's just one click, it works on the iPhone, it works on the Mac. And it's very simple. And another big theme around my whole system and everything I do is that I like simplicity. I really live by this minimalism idea where you try to reduce clutter and reduce friction as much as possible. All I need is the basic stuff. So that's why I really try to stick to the essentials with a lot of the things that I use. Uh, in here, we can see that we have a couple of folders. I have a videos tab where all the videos I'm working on right now, for example, right here, we've got this video that I'm working on right now. I sometimes write a whole script, but mostly I just have some sort of ideas that I want to talk about. Then I have stuff for my programming, any project ideas, any and things I learned that I want to remember, I put it on there. And then we've got checklists, for example, for my video production process, what I do for all these videos, and then for picture profiles with my camera. I don't have anything else yet, but I'm trying to do more of this uh, because I just learned about this idea of like checklists and how they're super useful and all of that. Uh, then we just got some quotes. Uh, for example, the journey is the reward. 
any quotes that have really spoken to me that I want to remember, I just wrote down in this quotes folder. Having a folder structure is really important. Any notes that then don't fall into any of these specific folders, I just put it into the basic notes folder right there. So any ideas, any things I learned from books, for example, I will put on here so that I have them stored. And because they're so easy to access, it actually makes me more likely to actually write something down. Whereas if it was like even a couple of clicks further away, I might not actually end up doing it. So then for our to-do app, and I've actually combined to-do and calendar into one app that actually does both of these. So the app of choice here is Tick Tick, which I just started using recently. So there's not that much here yet. Uh, again, I have easy access to both on my Mac and my iPhone. If I don't like it, I might change to something else, but for now it seems to be working really well. You can organize your tasks into folders. So I've done that for any videos, any video integrations or brand integrations I have coming up in long-term learning projects or things I'm doing. And there's also a calendar view on this where you can really view your tasks based on the dates you want to do. That's usually anytime I just have a task, I'll just type it here. This is a really important task, by the way. You should do it. You done it. Nice. Okay, so now that task is done. And let's say for this video, if I didn't have time to do it today, I could just move it to tomorrow or something. Very simple, but the idea is that you wanna keep track of your to-dos so that you don't forget. And in terms of using calendars, a lot of the productivity YouTubers who I'm a big fan of and I watch a lot, they really live by a calendar and putting everything down in your calendar. I've tried that, but for me, it really didn't work. Like having blocking time in your calendar, like every day so that every hour is basically you predetermined what you need to use it for. Like sure, if you're doing something where you have meetings and all that, where you need to do them at specific times, then absolutely you need to use a calendar. But for me right now, because I haven't started my full-time work yet, I can really decide when I do all the things that I do. And I found that it was too restrictive for me to have a specific daily routine that I follow every day. So now that I'm still able to do that, I actually enjoy allowing myself to just do the things that I need to do any time I want to do them, as long as I do the things that I need to do every day. So every morning, I'll essentially write a couple of tasks down on my to do app, and those are the things that I have to get done that day. As long as I do them, it doesn't matter when I do them. So that is why I actually don't stick by any specific routine, at least not at the moment. That's probably how gonna have to change once I start my full time job in a couple of months. So we'll see. And last but not least is my file management system. For this, I mostly just use the internal SSD of my M1 Max MacBook Pro computer. I have a videos folder, I have a photos folder, and then I have a big programming and computer science folder. So roughly all the things I do are organized into these big folder, which are in my desktop. And then inside of this, there's folders for all my projects, as, as well as one big folder for all the courses I'm doing. So for example, right now I'm doing this course and I'm doing this one. So anything related to them, like the exercises, uh, projects and stuff like that. Uh, this is a new laptop, so there's not as much here yet. Hopefully I can keep it clutter free. Then I also use iCloud Drive. A lot of the documents are stored in iCloud, so that I have access to it on my computer and my phone wherever I need it. So I have documents where I have got personal finance, any business related stuff, for this channel, for brand integrations, all those things. This specific file structure works for me for the specific things that I do. The point of this is not that this is the specific file structure you should use or that you should specifically use iCloud. I used to use Google Drive a lot, but now that I'm fully in the Apple ecosystem, it really just made sense to just switch to iCloud. You need to have your files organized. And so this is really how my entire life is organized. And then obviously when I'm doing something specific, like for example, when I'm coding, I have all like these subsystems for like how I plan my coding project for example, or when I'm learning a course, I have all these subsystems for how I'm organizing my learning. For example, I use my Notion template to organize my computer science self-study. Check out this video if you're interested. And I talk a lot about those things on this channel separately because those are separate things. But this productivity system, which is the topic of this video, is really the umbrella things which really organizes all of this. So a lot of people have been asking me for more videos around my project building process and around like coding projects in general. And I am happy to say that those are coming very soon i will be making some videos around documenting the process of me building a couple of these interesting app ideas that i have so those videos are coming so if you want to see them make sure to subscribe down below this really isn't all about having some like magical app it's just about having a system that works for you even if you have the best productivity system in the world if you're trying to learn how to code if you're not using the right methods 
to teach yourself how to code, then all of this is really useless. A productivity system allows you to organize your time, but if you're actually using your time in the wrong things, it really defeats the purpose. So that's why if you wanna learn how to code effectively, you absolutely should watch this video where I really talk about the specifics of what I actually do when I'm trying to learn how to code and how I was able to force myself to actually learn how to code.